program I think for all of us today for the next day and a half. Uh, so today we're going to start with a little bit of introduction, oil 101, to make sure everybody has the same background information. And then uh, we have a panel about risk, understanding risk. And our hope is that after the panel you'll understand more risk but also appreciate how complex risk is. And that's our goal today, to make you understand and realize how complex it is. And well, so we'll have a bunch of speakers from different perspectives introducing that. And then? And on day two, we're going to hearken back to what can we learn from our colleagues at the Gulf, given everything that they've been through um, with the uh, oil incidents is there. At the same time, we're going to introduce people from our own Great Lakes and St. Lawrence Basin to talk about their experience with oil spills and talk really about the lessons learned so that we can really focus on prevention and what we can do now to um, help uh, prepare communities and do the best thing to protect our communities, the um, economy, and the environment. And so we're, our real goal is at the end of day two to have you all work together to synthesize the information that you've heard, um, think about the new research that's out there, think about the information gaps that are out there, reflect on the lessons learned, and come up with a list of what are those tools, the programs, the projects, uh, research needs that are needed in order to help decision makers make the best choices, the best informed decisions on how uh, pro oil and other entities move throughout our basins. <coughs> so we would really like to thank um, all the sponsors that made this possible. Um, and since I'm speaking now, I'll go ahead and start with the Great Lakes Sea Grant Network. Um, we are eight programs strong throughout the Great Lakes. We've had one person from each program assigned to this project for the last couple of years. We've been working with Michelle and um, another colleague of mine, Larissa Graham. I also would like to thank the Gulf of Mexico Research Initiative because they are the ones that are sending us their science. They're helping facilitate information transfer, and they're doing that not only by sponsoring and helping to sponsor this event, but also by bringing Larissa Graham, a colleague here from Illinois, excuse me, out of Mississippi, Alabama, Sea Grant, and her colleagues from the Gulf to help us understand what it's like to live through a significant spell. I'd like also to thank uh, the International Joint Commission, who's been a really important partner in preparing this event. Uh, my colleagues from the Great Lakes Commission, and also want to um, mention this, the, the really the nice help we had from Joyce Foundation was um, provided funding for this event, and also the CS Mock Foundation, who provided funding for a research paper that we released um, earlier this week. And in your meeting folders, you'll see there's a summary of these papers. So these two uh, foundations really helped us with getting gathering information and uh, getting people here today. So, without further ado, the people that really know what are going on. So I'd like to introduce our keynote speaker, uh, Jerome Hopiel from the U.S. Coast Guard. He has assumed duties as the Incident Management and Preparedness Advisor of the 9th Coast Guard District in 2011. And he also serves as co-chair of the Regional Response Team for Region 5 and is co-chair of the Joint Response Team for the Canada-U.S. Great Lakes Region. His talk is entitled Coast Guard and its role in spill preparedness and response. 